I'm Bishop Boniface Adoyo. We are here in Turkana district in Songot village. I would like to introduce to you my friend Ekomwa. He has three brothers and three sisters. He's going to take us round his village uh, to show us his brothers and sisters and how they live in this village and introduce us to his parents. Hello, hello, hello. hello. We are joined by Susan, who will help us with the interpretation here. This is the Komwa's mother. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is the Komwa's follower. Yeah. The Komwa is going to show us where he sleeps. He, he puts he puts it down here, and then he sleeps here, and that's how he sleeps throughout the night. Very good. Yes. This is where they cook. Oh. This is what we eat. Edung. Edung is a wild fruit. <laughs> That's a, a, a blessing for him. Mm. This, this is the water that they use to bath it. But when they don't put water for bath, they can use even to collect water at the same time for cooking. Well, now, where does he go to the toilet? He's taking us to show us the exact point <laughs> where he went actually this morning because they don't have a specific point. They go anywhere. Oh, this, this morning, where he went. Actually, those are his two yeah, legs. Yeah, that, that's where he went. Mm. And the younger ones who can't walk this far go near the homes, which is not hygienic. We're going to talk to the elders because this innocent young boy is not responsible for hygiene and find out what they can do. Yeah. Mm. He's the village elder here. And his name is... Uh, Ekadeli. Ekadeli. Lokiriyama. Lokiriyama. Mm -hmm. So you can ask them what, what challenges they face with life here. They drink rainwater that is just on cans, which are also drunk by livestock and uh, taken by wild animals because they are not protected. How do they uh, distill the water to clean it? They are saying they have no alternative. They don't distill it, they don't boil it, they just take it as it is. They take it? Yeah. I saw some uh, refuse on the riverbed. Mm. Uh, what about the, the diseases that is carried by that? They can dig toilet so that it doesn't mix with the drinking water? Because you see, the water must be kept hygiene so mm. that the children don't get sick. You know, the diarrheas and all those sicknesses come from the water. So if we brought somebody to teach them about hygiene, <coughs> digging toilets and uh, that, they, they would accept. They will, they will really accept it. Hey, so now we want to hear from the ladies. What are their, uh, their challenges in bringing up these children? <coughs> When the children get sick, where do they take them? Akichoge is about 30 or 35 there. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes they, they, they arrive to the health facility and sometimes the kids just die on the way. That is it. How many kids since they coming have died? Fifty. Who fall sick and, and they die Who fall sick and they die before they get to the health facility. In four years. <coughs> mm. That's a very high rate. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, friends, you have seen, I have walked through this Ekomwa's village. You have seen how they live. They go into the, into the open and mix with water. They don't boil water. And what hope does Ekomo have uh, in this type of surrounding? We want to ask that, give this boy a hope and many others who are coming up, every one of us can chip in to better the lives of these people. So please send your SMS to 6060 to help our people who are living in this condition. Keep child alive.